Good day, kids. Welcome to School Gates. My name is Chiku D. Esther Ungozi. We'll be moving to lesson seven, and our topic is time. We looked at time in our last lesson. We said a clock is used to measure time. And then we also said we have the second hand, the minute hand, and the hour hand. The tiniest hand is the second hand, while the longest hand is the minute hand, and the shortest hand is the hour hand. Hand. And we also looked at how to read time or tell time. We said when the long hands is on six, it is read as half past. And when the long hands is on nine, it is read as quarter to. When the long hands is on three, it is read as quarter past or quarter after. And when the long hands is on twelve, it is read as o'clock. So today we'll be looking at another aspect of time. Our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to read time in an analog and digital form. And you should, should be able to order days of the week. We want to look at days of the week. And instructional material will be making use of new method mathematics for primary schools book two and the Macmillan champion mathematics for primary schools book two. Now, kids, there are two ways you can read time. Okay, two ways. And they are the analog time and digital time. What did I say? Analog time and digital time. Now, what is analog time? Analog time is reading the position of the hour hand, the position of the minute hand, and giving the time in words. That means you look at where the short hand is and look at where the long hand is, and then you read them in words, okay? We'll get to see examples on it. Why digital time? Digital time is um, examples we see it on our wristwatch, on your, on your mommy's phone, yes, you see it on the phone too. They make use of digital time. Digital time, you read the time as it appears on the clock, and then you give the time in numbers. You give the time for analog in words, but for digital, you give the time in numbers. Are you getting it? Okay, let us see some few examples. Now, the long hands is on six, and the short hands is in between one and two. And you know, anytime the long hands is on six, it is read as what? Half past, yes, half past. But see the short hands, it's read as half past one. Half past one. Now, that is the way you can read it in analog. Half past one. Now, if you want to read it in digital, we said digital is read in numbers. In numbers. If you want to read it in digital, you will say, this is one. One thirty. One thirty. How do we get this thirty? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30. Are you getting it? Now, see this one. We wrote it in words, but this one, we wrote it in numbers. So, when you're reading in digital, it is read as 130. But for analog, it is read as half past one. Now, see this one. The long hand is on 12, and the short hand is on 3. If you want to read it in analog, what is it, kids? 3 o'clock. You see the way we wrote it? 3 o'clock. Then, if you want to write it in digital, it is written as 3 Zero, zero. Okay? Three, zero, zero. Are you getting it, Kate? Okay? Now, see this. The long hand is on three, and the short hand is on two. We said when the long hand is on three, it is read as what? Quarter past or quarter after. So, the short hand is on two. It is read as what, Kate? Quarter after two, or you say quarter past two in analog. But in digital, it is read in numbers. So if you want to write it in digital, we'll start counting from here. 5, 10, 15. Where the long hands is 15 and then the short hands is 2. So you write it as 2, 15. Are you getting it? Look at where the short hands is 2 and then you count 5, 10, 15. 2, 15. Let us look at the next example. The long hand is on three and the short hand is on four. This is read as what? Quarter past four. Or you say quarter after four. Then if you want to write it in digital, you start counting from 12, 5, 10, 
15 where the long ends is and the short ends is of 4. So you write it as 4, 15. Are you following kids? 4, 15. Now we have time for different activities. Different activities. Now, you wake up in the morning. See this girl? She's, wake, she woke, she's waking up in the morning. She's waking up in the morning. And then see these kids? They are going to school in the morning. When do you go to school? In the morning, not in the afternoon, okay? Go to school in the morning. And then see these kids? They are playing. Now, you play during weekends. That's Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Or... You play when you come back from school. After you have done your homework, okay? After you have done your homework, then you can play. So see these kids, they are playing in the evening. You don't play in the morning when you want to go to school, okay? Now, you sleep at night. We sleep at night. Are we getting it, kids? Now, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. I'm going to be singing a song for us so that we'll learn it. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So these are the seven days in a week. Sunday is the first day of the week. Monday is the second day of the week. Tuesday is the third day of the week. Wednesday is the fourth day of the week. Thursday is the fifth day of the week. Friday is the sixth day, and Saturday is the seventh day, which is Sunday is the first day, and Saturday is the last day. Are we getting it? Okay. So now, which day do you go to church? You go to church on Sundays. Yes, you go to church on Sundays. Now, people that go to Mass, which days do they go to Mass? On Fridays. They go to Mass on Fridays. And which days do you go to school? From Monday to Friday, you go to school from Monday to Friday. Are you getting it, kids? Okay. So now let us look at this evaluation questions. Now, how many days of the week are you not in school? You say we go to school from Monday to Friday. How many days of the week are you not in school? Arrange in correct order. Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. And then this is a clock. We are asked to write in analog and digital form. The longest is on 6 and the short end is in between 10 and 11. I'll give us a few minutes to do these questions. All right, kids, a solution. Now, we said we go to school from Mondays to Friday. That's um, we go to school five days. How many days of the week are you not in school? Two days. That's you're not in school on Saturday and you don't go to school on Sundays. Yes or no? Yes. Very good. So if you got this as your answer, you are correct. Arrange in correct order. Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. Which one become first, kids? Tuesday. Very good. Followed by Wednesday. Followed by what? Thursday. Very good. Clap for yourself. Okay. And finally, the longest is on six, the short hands, 10 and 11. In analog, we write it as what? Half past 10. And in digital, the mini times is on C, so you count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then the short hands 10. So it is written as 10, 30. Are you following, kids? If you got this as your answer, then you are correct. All right, so we have come to the end of our lesson for Today, we looked at the second aspect of time. We looked at how to read time in analog and digital form. And we also looked at how to order days of the week. We said there are seven days in the week. Sunday is the first day and Saturday is the last day. And kids, digital form is read in numbers. Okay, why analog is read in words. Don't forget, make sure you note where your mini hand is and where your short hand, which is the hour hand, is. Get more examples and practice 
more. So if you see in our next class, kids, thank you very much. <laughs>